Okay, what we're doing today is uh, we're going to get familiar with our two-stroke tools as well. So I pulled out, we have a 117-point demo today on all the different tools that's going to be required to pull these engines apart. You guys are going to start with lap, your lap sheet number three here. We're going to start first off by removing the flywheel. So to do that, there's a couple other things I'm going to take off and just get out of the way real quick. I also love T-handles. I have an 8, 10, and 12. Those are real pop uh, millimeter. Those are real popular sizes here. Now, we can see, you guys get a chance to walk around and look at these parts once we take them off here. This is on here. It looks like it's been stripped. It's been ground down with a grinder. It's not in the best shape. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I got this bolt loose, but before I take it all the way off, you guys are going to... I love using paint markers. Do you guys remember my tip? Uh, some of you heard this before, that on the open gap, you guys might want to come around and look at the shifter over here. I'll see if I can get the video to look at. The open gap of the shift, the last person that had this bike liked where the shift lever probably was because they're not complaining about it to you. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to draw a line right across that shift shaft that represents the split on the shifter. Pretty cool. I know some of you guys saw this before, but here we go again. If you can get a shot of, shot of that. Good. Okay. So now I don't have to think too hard when I go back together of this, do I? It's okay. You guys can answer. No. Not. Awesome. <laughs> now what if I can't get this off? Like right now it's kind of sticking on me. So another thing that I could do is I could grab a chisel. chisel. Will somebody grab me a hammer out of the hammer drawer? Oh, I got one right here. And I'm going to take and wedge this in here. That's going to split that wedge, and then I should be able to pull it off. And I still have enough of a burr on here or something on here. Give it a great I really shouldn't have to go this far. This thing is really, really hooked up here. walk it off. Make sense? I really don't want to split it this far. This one's being a uh, real pain. You can see how that's ground off. It probably just needs to replace. Now what am I going to do with my loose bolts? I'm going to put them back where they go. I'm going to go ahead and get this counter shaft sprocket. The other thing you want to do is you want to keep this close by. As I was moving around that, did anybody notice I just shifted it in it, uh, excuse me, shifted it into gear? Anybody hear that? I want to try to make this in neutral. And it looks to me like the teeth are even stripped on this. So I'll have to do that later when I get apart. You don't have to take these apart neutral in here, but it is just plain easier. Okay. Got plenty of baggies where I can throw some of this stuff in it so I don't have to worry about it. I won't label the simple stuff like sprocket down here. Get stuff apart pretty quick. You want to grab me another baggie, somebody? Just team up on this. Okay, I cracked them all what? Cracked them all loose. This is just a plastic cover. Have you guys seen the new T-handles where they have a roller bearing in the center of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're sweet. And they're not that much money. I think they're, yeah, most pro, they're down to 20 bucks or something. We'd be racing like we're on a pit team. Okay. What we'll do now is we'll just take and start making a pile of our parts, but at least we're somewhat baggy. We can do that. Here's our flywheel in here. Can, I, I forgot to grab the air compressor hose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and impact my nut off before I attempt to remove this flywheel. So I'm going to get in here. You guys are going to do this in the same order. There's a real reason we're doing it in the order we are. Probably a good chance that's a 17. It is. Grab my impact out of here. 
towards the very the red handle point. Yep. Okay. Get that over here. I'm also going to start to locate. And, and notice how everything's labeled here. So it's very important we get this stuff back to the proper place. Try and talk over that air compressor. This is our favorite polar tool because it has one, two, three, four, five, six different polars on it in one. This is only about thirty dollars for all of these, and it's got full a ton of flywheels. I'm not sure if it does the cowie, but we'll find out here in a second. Thank you. 